Chef Pennington here. Today we've got a really fun dish, a little creation I came up with using hash browns. We're creating taco shells now. This is inspired from the recipe from the zucchini taco shells. So first we're going to take a green onion. There's three of them there. Get a good cut on them. Um, they're going to add a little bit of color and flavor. Get them into a bowl there. Parmesan cheese and the eggs are going to be our binding agents. That's what's going to hold everything together and create the magic for us. And who doesn't love cheese? This is so simple, guys. That's what makes this recipe so cool. So those are frozen. Those are straight out of the freezer. No need to thaw them or anything like that. And if you have leftovers, we'll be able to put them right back in the freezer and use them the next morning. I'm going to show you a variation of actually what to do with it. It's at the end of the video. All right, notice the egg cracking it on a flat surface. It certainly makes a difference. It helps the shell not end up in your bowl, which you don't want your shells in your bowl. You know, cracking on the edge is just not the right way to go about it. We're going to add one extra egg white. Egg whites are pure protein. Um, the protein is going to help everything set up and create the taco shell. Get our egg in there. And for extra flavor, fajita seasoning. You can really use whatever you want. Fajita seasoning is just a bunch of really good stuff. And I'll have a recipe for fajita seasoning on the website with a printable recipe card. Take your time mixing it up. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy, but we don't want to break up all the hash browns. So we want to use parchment paper. I tried cooking one of these off with aluminum foil and it just got too hot. So parchment paper down, spray it so it doesn't stick. This is one of those burger shaper deals just to get it started not necessary and then tap it out whatever shape that you make here is what it's going to be when it comes out of the oven it doesn't expand on you and get bigger so take your time trying to make it look nice 400 degrees or 200 degrees Celsius let's see what we got oh my goodness they were so good folks I'm gonna make these every day <laughs> So I let them sit out and check out what they'd be like many hours later. So about seven hours later, they still held up. They were still totally good to go, and they still had crispiness to them. This is really a cool new find. I hope everybody really enjoys this, and uh, please share it online. This is a new creation that I think a lot of folks have never heard of. So this is the, uh, the rendition. So right out of the freezer, you just chip away whatever you want. That's a medium hot pan and let it start doing its mass magic. We're essentially making hash browns that's already nice and flavored up. So let it get a little bit of a crust on the other side. Yeah, yum. <laughs> and there we have it, folks. Breakfast right out of the freezer. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please reshare and have a great one, guys. Take care.